Hey, it's Esco Barça here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the current situation at FC Barcelona. After the first month or two, it looked like Barcelona were back where they belong and like they were able to compete again at the very biggest stage for every trophy. But in a couple of weeks, I think a lot of people have changed their opinions about that, have started to doubt Barcelona and even questioned whether Xavi is still the right coach for this team. Believe me when I say Barcelona are still amongst the best though, and Xavi is a great coach. It's not all doom and gloom, and apart from some weak points, this squad has really what it takes to represent FC Barcelona. And in this video, you'll hear why. So, make sure to stay tuned. First of all, I think some people tend to forget the injury crisis that we're having right now, especially in defense. Before the international break, we easily had one of the best defensive lines in the world. At left back maybe not, but Eric Garcia, Christensen, Araujo and Koundé combined for the centre back and right back positions was a huge weapon. And I know you shouldn't really use injuries as an excuse, but if all of Araujo, Koundé and Christensen get injured, then it's only logical that our quality in defence decreases. In both games against Inter as well as in El Clasico, our defence was a big problem. And if it wasn't for Ter Stegen, we probably would have dropped points against Mallorca and Celta Vigo as well. I do really think that with Araujo, Christensen and Koundé, things would have gone different. And today we might have been in a very different place than where we are now in reality. And even in attack, I'd say Memphis could have been very useful at times. On that left wing position, we either had Rafinha or Dembele out of position, or Ferran Torres or Ansu Fati out of form. So missing Memphis definitely didn't help. Overall, it's just a real shame so many players got injured during international break. And it's fair to say it had its impact on our results in October up till now. Next, I'd like to talk about the squad that Xavi's got in his hands. Because doesn't it seem weird that one day you feel like Barcelona are world class and the other one it feels like we need to go through a huge rebuild process again. Well, on paper our squad is genuinely world class. Some positions are maybe a weak point, like the defensive midfield role and our defense should be great if it wasn't for those injuries. But in attack, we've got a combination of Dembélé, Lewandowski and Rafinha and in midfield players like Pedri and Frenkie de Jong. Those are all far from average players. But as I'm just vaguely talking about our squad now, what is the actual point here? Well, a lot of these players joined just a couple of months ago, and then it's only normal that the chemistry is not perfect yet at this point. A lot of players still have to get used to each other, and that takes time. You can't expect them to play like Messi and Suarez used to just a few games into the season. And the fact that we ran into some big games at this point was far from ideal, because especially in the big games, the chemistry between players matters, and we did really see that during the last couple of weeks. So I'd say, give it some time, be patient and you will see everyone linking up more and the understanding between everyone will grow. The lack of chemistry definitely was one of the reasons for the downfall that we've experienced right now. And no one is really to blame, not Xavi, not the players, it's just something that needs time. Another problem that Barcelona really did have in every real big game up till now is the mentality. We've often played quite well and showed the ability to compete again at the highest level, but at some moments you could feel that this team lacked the ability to respond to a setback. And this is not something that's Xavi's responsibility, or not completely. Just take a moment to think about the players that we have. Firstly, we've got a lot of young players. Pedri, Gavi, Balde, Eric Garcia, even Dembélé isn't that experienced with all of the injuries he's had. These players lack the experience to know what to do at the big moments sometimes. When to make a foul, when not to, and in the big moments that can make a difference. I'm absolutely not saying that they should play less, they should even play more. Because that way they will learn the most. But you have to accept that young players just lack experience and sometimes that can have its consequences. Apart from that, we've got some players that are just right when it comes to experience and mentality like Lewandowski and Ter Stegen. But we've also got some players who have just gotten too old for the biggest stage. Mainly Piquet and Busquets. It's not like they lack experience but they're becoming older and don't perform at their usual level anymore. And having those type of players in your team in the big moments is risky. And for Barcelona that has definitely become clearer during these last weeks. And that is also mentality wise. So, we've just got a mix of inexperienced players and players who are becoming too old and mentality-wise that's far from perfect. But also here, time is in our advantage. Eventually, mentality and experience are things that we will need to worry less about with every year that passes by. Then, we've got to talk about how Barcelona were playing in August and September. They were way better and could have probably beaten any team in the world in that period. Right? No. The difference between Barca and September, let's say, and in October isn't as big as some believe it to be. We lost against Bayern Munich, ok, after playing a great game, but a loss is a loss. And even in some great La Liga games we weren't that great. Sevilla away, remember? We won 3-0, but Sevilla were better than us in the first 20 minutes. And with the injuries that we now have in defense, that game might have had a very different outcome. And the same goes for the away game at Real Sociedad. 
It's not like we've now suddenly had a huge drop in form, it's just that there are some little differences that made September and August good months, and October, up till now at least, a bad one. So we shouldn't forget that. And lastly, we've just not been looking in some games, admit it. Away at Bayern Munich, we shouldn't have gotten a penalty for that foul in Dembélé. Away at Inter, it was even more clear. Dumfries touched the ball with his hand, and we didn't get a penalty for that. And even in El Clasico, we could have gotten a penalty after Carvajal's foul on Lewandowski. So, though I don't want to complain too much about these things, these are decisions that if they'd gone our way, we could have been in a very different place right now. Combined with the injury crisis, it's definitely fair to say that we haven't been lucky, which is why we shouldn't always have to blame someone. Not Xavi, not Laporta, not the players, there's always some kind of luck involved in football. And lately, it's just not been on our side. So, if you now look back at all of these points, it's quite fair to say that we shouldn't exaggerate the problem that we have now. We're obviously far from perfect and there are some issues that need to be solved, but we aren't back to square one either. We have made progress already and a lot of problems have been solved over the last year. And this season is not even over yet. We can still win La Liga and the Copa del Rey hasn't even started. So it's not all doom and gloom, we've just had a little reality check and some bad luck. There is nothing more to it. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion on Barcelona right now in the comments down below. Forza Barça and have a good day.